what is going on guys dbg here and today we are going to be talking about season 7 in nba 2k21 my team so my prediction i'm predicting something about the playoffs theme there is a 99.9 percent .9 chance and i'm completely wrong i'm probably completely wrong i was quite close in season two where I predicted it would be some... I predicted Season 2 would be something about the... Sorry, he's joking. The thing right now, I predicted Season 2 would be something about, like, rookies, and it kind of was, but next is now. Other than that, I've been very, very wrong. I can't even remember what I predicted for Season 3, but Season 3 ended up being Season of Giving. I predicted Season 6. I think I predicted both Season 6 and Season 5 to be March Madness. Um, evidently was neither but uh yeah so we're going to be predicting the actual season and we're going to be predicting the cards that are going to be in it so my prediction i don't know some sort of playoffs and i think this is just like a weird theory i have but i think remember the bracket that we saw a while ago i think we could see a lot more of these so just going to get it up on Twitter right now. So if you guys don't remember, at the start of April, we had a bracket. And maybe we could get, I don't know, one bracket a week or something. Maybe they could give us like one bracket card every week. So you know the way we have like our free agenda cards? You know the way we got in our free agenda cards? Maybe next week it could be something like, instead of like Wednesday being a hint... Maybe at the start of every week, we get, like, eight random cards. And we could, like, vote on who they're going to be. And, like, there's an infinite number of cards. We can't forget that, base basically. Well, not infinite. There's a thousand cards, basically. And if this week is five weeks, then there's only 40 potential people um, for a bracket. So, putting out a bracket like this, instead of, um, what's it, instead of 16 people eight people then just have you the last eight on tuesday and then on wednesday have like the last four and on thursday we vote for like the last two and then they come out with the card on friday that would be insane if we got that for like a free galaxy opal because if you're looking you're thinking but there's not enough cards man we've gotten like how many lebron james cards have we gotten this year and we actually like we have not even got a dark matter or a 98 opal lebron james and we still got like 13 lebrons and, like, if you look at, say, Emeralds, there's no reason why we can't have Daquan Cook, Barbosa, Barrett Mike at a Playoff Moments card, Jeff Green, Mario Ellie, Badier, Cliff Robinson, Jared Jeffries. That's just one, that's just picking off one page. And there's 17 pages of Emeralds. Like, there are so many. Like, there's no. And this is obviously uh, just complete theory, and it's something that I would love to see. And it's kind of my brain taking me in a completely different direction. But it is a really cool idea, I think, that we get one of these every single week. We get eight potential free cards. And again, instead of what they have done last season, where it's like a clue, which I did actually like that. I do think that was a good idea. I think we need more than that during the week, but that would be a cool thing. If we have like a vote on Wednesday, sorry, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then obviously on the final... Uh, on the Friday, we get the card. I think that will bring in a whole bunch of hype. And it means that we get a card that we at least like. We at least like. And it gets people involved in it. That would be something really, really cool. Like, this isn't something that you could do the whole year. But for this season specifically, I think... I was looking. I think 2K are going to make season five weeks as well. Which could be a good thing. Which could be a good thing. And if the season is five weeks... Which means we get five Tuesdays... Tuesday packs, please 2k, I know you're going to bring them in, you're going to make Idol Series 3, please make Idol Series 3 a Tuesday pack for this season, because we would, Idols are a million times better than Mystery, and it will be an, a solely positive thing if you bring out Idol packs on Tuesday, there will be no complaints about that, absolutely no complaints if you bring out Idol Series 3 on a Tuesday, if you do that there will be no complaints, but if you make, I think what do we have, we have Five more idol, five more idols packs to go, and we also have, I think is it twelve weeks left. So again, if you don't put idols midweek, it means that idols are fifty percent of our remaining pack drops, which is a disaster. So, 
In terms of like predictions, I think we see our first go card. I think we see our first 99. I'm not entirely sure they're going to be called go cards. They could be called legend cards. They could be called anything. They could be called absolutely anything. But I think that we could see, we could see a card like the equivalent of a go card with 99 every stats because you basically have seen almost equivalent cards. I think we see our first one this season. If you guys don't remember, if you're looking at last year, like we can't really use 2KDB unfortunately because, well, um, 2KDB only came in in July last year. We were looking at a spreadsheet up till then. If you guys look, our first go card came on the 21st of April. That date has passed. And our first go card in packs was Michael Jordan. And Michael Jordan came on the 15th of May. So, like, the 15th of May was Go Jordan. And, like, that's, again, two weeks from now. So, I think we see our first 99 every stat. It's weird. Like, 2K are a little bit behind on the top, top tier cards. But they're way ahead in the mid-tier cards. But I think that that is probably coming soon enough. And I, I think it's probably going to be... It has to be Kobe or Jordan. It's, it's one of Kobe or Jordan. Because we already have our Dark Matter. Like, there's no way we get a GOAT. LeBron before we get at least two Dark Matter LeBrons. I Goat LeBron or 99 Evering LeBron will come late in the year. Alongside Giannis. I'm looking at Go cards from last year. I need to see who were the Go cards last year. See how many of them I predict are going to be here. So Steph Curry, Shaq, Bill Russell, Magic. Yeah, all these are going to get them this year. I don't think Oscar Robertson will get one this year. I think we're more likely to see a Westbrook. I think if wet, we might see a Westbrook one, honestly. That would not surprise me. Do I think he deserves one? No, but I wouldn't. it would not surprise me, considering there is one. There are 20 car 22 cards here. Obviously not in the best 22 players of all time, but um, he still will be an interesting card. I definitely don't think we see a Vince Carter go card. I definitely don't think we see a John Stockton go card. That's one thing I definitely don't think we see. But I think we see a couple of these guys coming this season. I think we might be down to like two or three. And I wouldn't be that surprised to see a go card be the level 40 award. I don't think it's going to be Jordan. And we have to think of our last level 40 awards. One before this was a center. The, one be the player before that was Kawhi, who was a wing. Then it was Wade, who was like a point guard. And before that, we had Blake. I think we get a... Could we get a small forward? Could it be our first good small forward? I don't know. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think who we could get. Because I think it's going to be a big... It has to be a big name. I have some weird feeling that it might be like a point guard thon maker. Obviously, no link to the season, but neither does work neither J or Smith for Warped Reality. I have a weird feeling I might be like I think it's gonna be a really just god tier card. And I don't even mean like god tier like a good card in J or Smith. I think it's gonna be like god tier card. And anyone saying like a Yanis or a LeBron, it's not gonna be a pack seller, but it's gonna be a really good card. Like we all know like Steph isn't a pack seller, Magic's not necessarily a pack seller. It's not going to be LeBron, Kevin Durant. It's not going to be... Um, I would have predicted Wilt if Wilt didn't already come out. I know we just got D-Rob. It's probably a power forward, though. Tim Duncan is a shout that a lot of people have made. I think Tim Duncan's going to be the limited reward. I personally think that the limited reward... Ooh, we got our one ring. We got our Quantum Deluxe pack. I personally think the limited reward pack is, or the limited award, is going to be Duncan. Because again, Duncan can only get so good in 2K with his release. Like, simple as that. Like, you can only make Duncan so good. They can't make him super, super good. And again, the guy's won five rings, so it's not like he's... He has won five, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, it's not like he's going to sell packs not like people are going to grind for 40 people might grind for him in limited and he also has not been in the game since the very start of the year where they made three point shooting duncan in flash is he flash one he's flash two he's flash two he's flash one with stockton 
So yeah, that is my prediction for limited. For unlimited, unlimited has kind of been, kind of been a bit, a little bit dead. I think the my team unlimited rewards is going to be a base ninety eight players. The only way people are going to touch the mode realistically, and I would say Glenn Rice, but Glenn doesn't have base ninety eight this year. Can't really be Jose Calderon, but it's, I think it's going to be a dark matter. I think we see a dark matter unlimited reward. I'm not sure. I think we see a dark matter limited and unlimited reward. I think we see both of them dark matter, and I think we see the triple threat reward being a dark matter as well. So the unlimited reward's a tough one. Like it, it's going to be a Glenn Rice type player, I think. I think we see like a. See, we haven't seen a power forward in a while. And again, Blake would have been my prediction, but Blake just came out. I don't know. Let me actually, you know what? We haven't seen a center since. We have not seen a center for Unlimited since Patrick Ewing. I'm going to guess Hakeem Olajuwon Dark Matter. Because he comes as a reward card a lot of years. He came as an Unlimited reward in 19 and a Spotlight Sim reward in 2K20. So I think that could be the case. And for Unlimited reward, I'm going. Or say not for Unlimited, for. I think we're going to get another spot in scenes, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. For level 40 reward, you know who mightn't be a shout, bad shout? Pascal Siakam. That might not be a bad shout, to be completely honest. Because Pascal Siakam, I'm, maybe he's not. No, he's not a big enough name. He's not a big enough name, to be honest. Like, who is that like level below a LeBron James in terms of name? Like That's still in. That's not in the NBA anymore. Maybe Larry. Maybe Curry slide Larry Bird. Because he can Curry slide on current gen, I'm pretty sure, because of his weight. He can, he's 220. Larry Bird's going to be my level 40 prediction. That's uh, my level 40 prediction is going to be Larry Legend. Again, these are just me completely, completely making stuff up off the top of my head. But I do believe that Larry Legend is going to be level 40 reward. So we got... Larry Legend, Hakeem Olajuwon, and Tim Duncan as the three rewards. The Triple Trek cards, I don't know who the Vault card's going to be. Just like, I, you cannot guess who the Vault card's going to be. Again, I'm so happy that with my Triple Trek Online last prediction, I predicted a 6-6 point card and it was Ron Harper. Like, that was the closest anyone's going to get. Like, you're just, trying to predict any of these cards is just like a complete stat shot in the dark. Like... I'm just going to literally click to page 8. Free and Eddie Jones. Let's just, why not? Let's just say Eddie Jones for 1,500 wins. Let's just say Eddie Jones and uh, move on. So what new do I think is going to be this season? So obviously I have my, not my theory, my like hopes for the season that we're going to get these instead of the, like say we're going to get the free Friday cards and that we're going to get a bracket and we're going to be able to choose. And that kind of makes up for, that will kind of make up a little bit, in my opinion, for the kind of lack of great rewards we got this time. As long as they're not priced out. Like, it doesn't even have to be a locker code, as long as they're not priced out. And then I hope that on, I think playoff, playoff moments cards are coming. I think we can all, we can all agree on that one. Playoff moments cards are coming. And... I would like to see them bring playoff moments cards on Monday. I would like to see the playoff Monday card, playoff moments cards on Monday. Then Tuesday be idols packs. Wednesday be just like some sort of triple trout event, um, or even you can bring in the like the weekend events you do. Make them Wednesday and Thursday, and then a different kind of mini event on the weekend. Maybe an unlimited play unlimited event the weekend. And I think that for this season, again, there's no reason why every weekend we can't have like a, a play unlimited or play limited for it, like we did for the Paul Millsap weekend. There's no reason why you can't do that at least once every two weeks. There's no reason why that can't be a thing. Another thing that I think is going to be definitely in the season is Spotlight Sims. I don't think we see a domination this season. I don't think we see Mystery Dom. We're not type of thing. I think we see Dominate. We saw Heat Check Dom season four. We see this season six. 
I think season eight is when we see the last domination. But if season if domination is coming in season eight, then we need to see spotlight sims early in season seven. We need to see them early. And I mean, I think we need to see spot. We need to see at least two more spotlight sims this season. We need to see spotlight sims week two, week one of the season, like the Tuesday or Wednesday of the of the first week. You don't need them straight away with spotlight sims. Like you don't. That's the worst. That's the last thing you want to do is bring out like a whole spotlight sim to start the season because that's just like too much. That can overwhelm. That'll overwhelm people with all the new stuff in the season. And I think that, like, on the Monday or the Tuesday of the next week, especially if you guys want to bring out packs for idols and maybe release them like you have the last couple of years, put the cards into the database at, like, midnight at night, um, go and throw them in, say, the Tuesday midnight after whatever packs they release on Tuesday. So I would love to see, that say, Spotlight Sims early in the season because that'll bring a whole lot of new players into the game. And then, especially if you bring that around the, like, voting and stuff, and what you know what I would actually love to see again? Spotlights in moments cards. Bring, maybe put them out bring them out once every week. And like if nobody's opening the packs, what difference does it make? It how long does it take you to put a freaking spotlight sim card art into the game? Release them on release I don't know. Maybe if you don't want to release them on Thursdays, release them every second Wednesday or something. Just something like that. Because that again gets people involved. Or maybe once every maybe make them the reward cards at the weekend say if someone does something with the spot in the spotlight sims or in one of the game modes with their cards maybe those moments end up being like for example some of the weekend i don't know some of the weekend cards that you're playing for actually that probably won't be the case because of obviously playoffs and stuff and there'll probably be like playoff moments and stuff but I just think we just need just constant content. And one thing I want to say with the Fridays is we don't need 17 new cards every Friday. Like, we genuinely don't. Like, I'm looking at the updates for on Fridays. 11 cards, 17 cards, 10 cards, 13 cards. Like, we don't need... Give us 8 cards. A, give us 8 to 10 cards on a Friday. And that includes free cards. Give us 8 to 10 on a Friday. And then just spread the other couple throughout the week. Like, if we get... I would rather see eight cards on a Friday, one on a Monday, one on a Tuesday, one on a Wednesday, one on a Thursday, and eight on a Friday, than 12 on a Friday. I think everyone's the same. Just like, give us a couple more things to do. Like, I like the um, the Bobby Jones exchange. I don't think it's worth it, but I like something like that. I hope things like that stay. So, that is my prediction. I think Spotlight Sims are a given. Last year, funnily enough, the longest time, we basically had six weeks between every Spotlight Sim. It was give or take a week. It was six weeks between all the Spotlight Sims. And then between the second last and the last one was a month. We had six weeks, six weeks, six weeks, four weeks. This week, we this year, we are already two months since our first Spotlight Sim. And these cards were way more outdated. Like, I'm telling you, these Spotlight Sim cards that we got this year, way more outdated than the dudes we got last year. Like, Cam Reddish was usable near the end of the year. Like, Cam Reddish would still... If this Cam Reddish card was in the game this year, the Roco card, they'd still be usable. People would be still occasionally running with those cards. They'd still be usable. Like, that Roco card's basically the free Scotty Pippen card right now. But the cards we got are t were terrible in Spotlight Sims. They were shockingly bad. Like, Roy was good. Um, Who else was good? Roy was good. Unself was decent. Wall was good. The rest of the cards weren't good at all. So... I, I just really think we need to spotlight sim quickly this season. We really do. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. A little bit of what I want for the season and a little bit of predictions. Like, my, yeah, my predictions are Larry Bird for this reward. I'm going to say Eddie Jones for the 1500 Triple Chat wins reward. Dark Matter, by the way. I think we see Dark Matter Hakeem Olajuwon. Dark Matter Tim Duncan for Limited. And... I know, let's just chuck Pascal Siakam in the Triple Chat online, I guess. Because I have a weird feeling we might see a Siakam somewhere. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Obviously, I am just making complete guesses. There is no theory to it. Like, I've tried to, to like, put some logic into this whole thing. I've tried to, like, in previous seasons, make, like, logical decisions on my predictions. And I've been completely wrong. So I've realized there is no point doing that. We might as well just throw random guesses in and hope for the best. 
One thing is, though, this day last season, on the Wednesday tomorrow, we did get the leak for the, for the following season. So I really hope we see something like that tomorrow. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.